everyone. I'm Jennifer Brown, Family Consumer Science Agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. And we're here today to talk to you about the Fab Four Habits for Fighting Chronic Conditions. So you can see from the different pictures up on my poster here that the four habits we're going to talk about are exercise, uh, drinking, eating right, and smoking. So one of the things that we want to people to understand about uh, chronic conditions such as diabetes and heart disease is that it's something that once you get it, you have all of the side effects for the rest of your life. Again, it's a chronic thing. It's not something that's necessarily going to go away, but it can be managed and it can be, you know, gotten under control by doing these simple steps and these four habits. So the first one is exercise. When we talk about physical activity, adults are supposed to exercise 30 minutes, five days a week for a total of 150 minutes a week. Now you might not be at the 30 minutes a day exercise regimen right now, but it doesn't mean that you can't get there. And even just a little bit of exercise has health benefits and can help improve either your uh, risk of getting a more serious chronic condition, like your heart disease turning into a heart attack or even a stroke, or your pre-diabetes becoming full-blown diabetes or becoming diabetes severe enough that you have to be taking medication, be on an insulin pump or some other kind of ailments that affect you. So that's the, the first step. The second one is don't smoke or quit smoking if you do. This is one of the things that I don't want to say it's the easiest to do, but it's definitely one of the things that you can control uh, the easiest because eating, there are so many different eating choices that we make all day long and there's so uh, many things that we need to do that sometimes fitting exercise in can seem difficult, but just choosing or not choosing to smoke is completely up to you. It's not a matter of do I have the right equipment, can I afford, afford healthier foods or anything like that. It'll actually save you money and not only just save you money with the cigarettes, but save you money with regards to your medications or your treatments down uh, the long run. Next is eating right. So this means eating a rainbow, which is one of the things we've talked about. Eating more fruits and veggies, eating lean protein, eating whole grains, eating low fat dairy, just to name a few things. But portion size is important as well. You might be eating good stuff, but maybe too much of it. So look at your plate size. Look at the portions that you're having. Are you having a helping or a portion? And then drinking in moderation. So for adults, this means no more than one drink per day for women and two for men. So red wine has shown to have health benefits, but again, everything in moderation. That's what we want to encourage you to do, to just try these four fab habits for fighting chronic conditions. This has been Jennifer Brown, Family Consumer Science Agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. Thanks for tuning in.